I'm waiting in the maid to get drunk. One shot of vodka. Alexa, play J House Dem Boy Pagans, because that tune is dirty. The fact that I've managed to tan, bring <laughs> bring the cocktail with me into the bathroom and continue this beauty regime while not being able to see solidifies my place here on YouTube because I clearly have a talent. Oh. Okay, the lips are off. Oh, and the camera's one K. To be fair, I am on my third lychee martini, so this video is gonna go one way or another. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So it's Friday. Wait, that's not the words. It's a Friday night, is what I'm trying to say. And I'm just here on my own, obviously. I'm just cooking myself some dinner. I thought, Do you know what? <laughs> I'm really in the mood to get drunk. I've just discovered that my new favorite drink is lychee martinis and now I can't stop. Which is quite concerning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought, you know what? I want to film a video. I feel like chatting with you guys. Tonight I just thought, you know what? I'm just gonna have some dinner. It's really nothing interesting. So I'm not doing like a cook with me or anything like that because I'm literally having my version of fish and chips, but it's like this really nice salt and pepper fish. I didn't have chips, so I'm cooking mini roast potatoes and I need to use up my salad bag in the fridge. So I'm having that instead of like, what do you have for fish and chips? Like peas. <laughs> Salad. But yeah, I thought, you know what, tonight I just want to have a nice dinner, drink some lychee martinis, and I actually kind of want a fake tan. Don't know about anyone else, I feel like I should have been using lockdown to like not fake tan, but I got some new products, and when I asked you guys on uh, Instagram uh, what video to film, so many of you said uh, fake tanning routine. And I was like, oh my god, I thought that was really 2015, like, what? And I haven't really got a set one at the moment, I have been using lockdown to like, experiment with different tans. I actually watched a TikTok the other day that used a tanning like lotion and then a mousse before, which kind of again inspired me to film this video because I was like, I want to do that. And I got some new products to try to do that. So yeah, I just thought I'm going to spend, no, I'm not going to spend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna film a spend the evening with me. So let's just have a fucking chat, honey, because by the time, although I've done this terribly, because this is gonna be the longest intro ever, by the way. You can tell I'm a little bit tipsy already, but that's why I'm saying I've done this terribly. I'm a little bit tipsy already, and I've got to fight time. <laughs> I haven't done that well, but hopefully this food will sober me up a little bit. But yeah, I just thought I would spend no way. What do I keep saying? No! I thought I would film a spend the evening with me drinking lychee martini's new favorite drink. I'm sorry, porn star martini. Like, you never sponsored me in the first place, but maybe that's why you have been replaced. Radiating my chaotic energy, tipsy energy onto you guys. I'm not actually sure when I'm posting this because I feel like this is a vlog to maybe watch on a Saturday night, so maybe I'll post it then. I'm filming it on a Friday. It's definitely not Sunday vibes. It's bank holiday weekend, honey. You don't want to be watching me getting absolutely off chops, off me lychee martinis on a Sunday. Although it's bank holiday. So people probably will be having a Sunday sesh. Cheers to that. And let's just crack on with it. So I guess while my dinner is cooking, do you think how long's left? Nine minutes, 20. Let's just have a dance. I've literally, like, anyone listened to the new Iggy Azalea and Tiger song because I think this is the song I needed to get my, like, thotty mojo back. To be fair, while I'm waiting for the dinner to cook and minus the copyright, oh my god, if you've never had a lychee martini before, I'm about to change your life. But yeah, so basically, this is amazing. Rubicon, if you're watching. 
let's have a sponsor. Let me have a fucking sponsor, do you know what I mean? But anyway, obviously I got this from Tesco. I haven't actually seen this anywhere else and I feel like this is the kind of majestical shit that you find in like a random corner shop that sells everything. Rubicon lychee sparkling. Yumsy, um, with a bit of vodka, you know what I mean? A bit of body. I had to Google, um, well, to be fair, I tried this recipe out yesterday. Oh, that wasn't, that wasn't a good one. Tried this sort of recipe out yesterday and I put elderflower in it and I fucking love elderflower, don't get me wrong, but was a wee bit too sweet because it was um, an elderflower cordial, which is really, really sweet. But um, I googled what fruits complement lychee and the verdict was other tropical fruits. So this is kind of what I do. I get like a shaker. I mean, hold on, there's like stuff in this one. I might put a bit more ice in, hang on. What you would want to do is get your cocktail shaker, oh, put some ice in it, and then pour like <laughs> some vody in here. I mean, I've already got stuff in here, that's why I'm not doing it, but vody, lychee, and then I've got myself these. This is case 556 of Rachel has absolutely no concept of size. These were meant to be like, you know, the mini ones. I have mini ones, like mini syrups that are like this big i thought these were this who the fuck needs 70 centiliters of passion fruit syrup i mean i mean i say that but i do drink a lot of passion fruit drinks so it has kind of come in handy but what i'm saying is a little bit of la 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 in there a bit of mango yeah mango bit of passion fruit a little drizzle and a little bit of lime Give this a fucking shake, lads. Um, obviously be careful because the light cheer is sparkling, so really hold on tight. But this incredible. To be fair, what got me onto light cheer martinis? I think one time me, Hannah, and Mads. Uh, and Holly maybe? Stir me, baby. <laughs> Why did that sound like that? And I think it was me, Hannah, Mads, and Holly? Not sure. We went to the Ivy in Manchester. Uh, that was my arm. I'm scared. <laughs> did you guys hear that? Oh, no, that was my arm. But we went to the Ivy in Manchester and the man came over to order drinks and Maddie just like stopped us all from ordering and she went, can I just get four lychee martinis for the table, please? And we were like, oh. Okay. And she was like, trust me, girls, like, you're gonna love it. I fucking loved it. Loved it. And ever since, I've needed my own. It's not quite the same as the Ivy. I feel like, Ivy, I'm coming for you, like, two weeks' time. I'll see you then. But, um, no, amazing drink. If you want a slightly more, like, it's still very sweet, but, like, refreshing drink. Try a lychee martini. Guys, I've been on FaceTime to like three different people since this has occurred. Okay, camera, whatever. Um, since this has occurred, but this is my dinner. I'm telling you, this is the nicest. Like, it's like a salt and pepper, slightly battered, like it's not thickly bad, slightly battered fish, salad, potatoes, lychee martini. Absolutely smashing. Dinner right. is finished. Is Absolutely that gorgeous. <laughs> Guys, H3 is on live. This is that my is tonight's this. entertainment. I mean, Frenemies yeah. is my oh, yeah. favorite, but H3, we stand. That dinner was fucking lovely. Um, right, now it's time to get unglam. Um, I've suddenly, like, miraculously come back alive, but. Oh, Holly. Um, I do want to make another lychee martini and I'll actually make it this time um, before I shower and fake tan. I just, I like being tipsy in the shower. I feel like I'm in a music video because I'm definitely going to be putting music on. Don't mind me, just getting some ice. Ciao. Anyway, so. Okay, so. Ice. <laughs> What's that mean where it's like, one shot of vodka. 
put some lychee up on this beach. Ooh. Well, that worked out perfect, didn't it? Finish that one. Right, and then a bit of passion. Dribble, dribble, dribble. Bit of mango. Dribble, dribble, dribble. A bit of lime for that zest. Gorgeous. Right, now we're gonna shake it up. But be careful because that lychee is sparkling. Oh. Did you hear that? Whoosh. Right, I think that's okay. I mean, cheers. Uh, ooh. Oh my god. It smacked my ass, made me gag, ho. That is so good. But right, I'm gonna take this into the bathroom with me. And yeah, I feel like I'm just gonna get unglam, fake tan. What are you losing time? Fucking nine o'clock. Ah, oh, and I'm already tired. That's when you know that you're getting... <laughs> Hello? That's when you know... <laughs> What's going on? That is when you... <laughs> what the fuck is going on with my camera? That's when you know when you're getting old. It's nine o'clock and I'm stressed because I need to fake tan and I want to go to bed. Um, Sorry, that's what we're going to do now. Oh, the fuck you slow with the lights on. Oh. Ciao. Anyway, so so I've just taken my makeup off. My hair is out. Um, literally about to shower and scrub off any existing tan on me. Got this from Look Fantastic. Not sponsored. Hannah recommended this to me. We went on a picnic the other day, and she took one look at my legs and went, "What the fuck?" Is that and it was because my tan had faded so badly um, and she told me to get this it's the he shy tan remover and primer so essentially so essentially you just cover your whole body in this and you literally leave it on for like five minutes and then you shower it off and exfoliate and then we're gonna tan so I feel like this is my first time using this so I'm not even recommending this I'm just letting you know Hannah recommended it to me I'm gonna try it out. I normally find it quite easy to get my tan off anyway. So hopefully this will just be a little helping hand. Um, and I'm gonna have like a litty, titty <laughs> shower because I'm drunk already. So yeah. Um, and then I will show you the tan I'm gonna use because I think I said earlier, I saw a TikTok and they used a tanning moisturizer, like instant tanning moisturizer plus a mousse so we're gonna try that technique but yeah i'm gonna apply this now he shy and leave it on for five minutes i'll just show you before and after okay so you saw me just applying that now it's been on for like four four minutes maybe so this is technically my before okay and this is me after i'm in a different bathroom now i'm now in my like main bathroom that's bigger this is where i always come to tan um that tan remover amazing um when i was in the shower i felt so silky and moisturized it does say that it's a tan remover and primer in one as in like a primer for when you're about to actually put fake tan on my tan just fell off of me like literally fell off i did use an exfoliating mitt after it'll like come off just to like make sure I got like the rest of it off. I'm so impressed with that, Hannah. Thank you. Like, thank you for that. Um, so the tan I'm actually gonna use right now, you know, I said that I saw a TikTok where they used a tanning moisturizer and then a mousse. Um, I've never used this before again. So I'm just gonna update you as I go. This is the Visa Liberata. It's because I got that um that tanning remover. I got it from Look Fantastic and then I just started looking at other tans and I why is my chin like pink or like orange? I don't know. And um, I started looking at other tans and this one came up. Vita Liberata, supposedly their best tan ever. Heavenly Elixir Advanced Tinted Tanning Elixir. And this is for face and body and it's in the color medium. I feel like I'm just going to put this all over myself and then... <coughs> 
I'm gonna knock it over. Um, I'm gonna use the Doll Beauty Tan and maybe mix it with the Barley Body One Hour Express. Does anybody else see this come up on the, well, I saw this come up on my Instagram all the time. And the before and afters looked so good, so I got it. And I feel like when I use it on its own, don't really like it, like it doesn't fade as nicely as Doll Beauty. Doll Beauty is one of the nicest fading tans I've used, but I use up and switch up all of my tans all of the time. You guys know the tanning brands that I love to use. I'm just going with this one, or that one, because the TikTok I saw used a really like aerated foam. And these are the best ones in terms of color that I've used in terms of like aerated foam, not like a foam, not that, like an actual foam, tanning foam, like that afterwards. I think it's because they absorb the quickest and I do love the doll tan, I really do. I might mix it, I don't know, but I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this first. V to liver art. This is a Vita Liberata, darling. Heavenly Alexa. Why did that sound like Alexa? Play J Hus, Stem Boy Pagans, because that tune is dirty. But anyway, I'm going to sip me lychee martini and apply this, and I'll show you what it looks like after I put this on. I've never done it this way before, but I feel like I'm primed from the tan remover, and this is a moisturizer, but also tan at the same time. So. We'll see. I hate going to sleep feeling really uncomfortable though. And I'm just picturing, because I will be going straight to bed after I put this tan on, FYI. Like, I can't be asked to talk or chat or anything. Like, I'll be going straight to bed. Because it's fucking late now. It's 10 o'clock now! Um, so I'm going to put this on, see how I feel. So this is me before. Okay, this is immediately after with just this on. So it's not... Too intense or anything like that. I have actually put it on my face. It did say it was for face and body, and it was really moisturizing when I put it on. It smells really just like yummy. I don't really know. It doesn't smell like amazing, but it smells yum. It doesn't smell like your classic horrid fake tan smell. Like it smells yummy, um, and it has dried relatively quickly. So I feel like I am gonna go in with a mousse as well. I'm gonna. Yeah, fuck it. I'm feeling adventurous. I'm gonna mix these two together. This is the barley. Body One Hour Express, and I'm gonna mix it with Doll Beauty a Deep Dark um, and just see how this combination works. I feel like after this, I am gonna go pretty much straight to bed. I hate fucking faffing about, like literally in tan. Like I'd rather put my fan on and go straight to bed. Um, so I'll probably end the vlog there, but maybe I'll give you guys an update in the morning or maybe I'll do it on Instagram. I'll see how this lychee martini makes me feel. Time to put some mousse on. Okay, and this is me afterwards. I feel like you can't really tell. So realistic, I feel like I am gonna have to finish this vlog tomorrow morning. And to be fair, I'm actually okay with that because I actually feel quite sick from these lychee martinis. So it's probably best that I film in the morning and show you the finished result and then I will end the vlog there and then I will upload it Saturday night. Um, so I'm gonna go to bed now um, and let myself bake in this tan. The fact that I've managed to tan Bring, <laughs> bring the cocktail with me into the bathroom and continue this beauty regime while not being able to see, I think solidifies my place here on YouTube because I clearly have a talent. <laughs> that was sarcastic if you didn't already know, but yes, I will finish this vlog in the morning, um, probably feeling slightly worse for wear. So I'll see you then, and we'll see how this tanning routine, completely new tanning routine to me, by the way, um, we'll see how this works out. Good morning. <laughs> I'm scared because... <laughs> Fucking dumbass. Uh, no one ever let me fake tan again when I'm not really concentrating. To be fair, I haven't showered it off. Um, so I'm gonna shower it off. Oh. I'm gonna shower it off and end this vlog because I'm pretty sure I've titled this and this was just meant to be a spend the evening with me um, and it's now the next day. So I'm praying that this gets better. Waking, Waking up, in, up the in the morning, morning, morning thinking about so many things. things. Just, just wish things would get, get better. better. <laughs> right, time to shower. Okay, I just washed it all off. Does this happen to anyone else? Like I now obviously just like don't look like that tanned. 
but my hand, like my tan never sticks to my chest. I'm pissed, but yeah, I'm gonna actually put some clothes on. I'm conscious like, can you see my booty and my coochie in the reflection? Say yes if you can. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna moisturize and put some clothes on and round up this vlog. Ooh, it's getting <sighs> steamy. Right, I'm up now and I'm just gonna have to deal with this. Maybe I'll put some of that tan remover on it. I hope you guys enjoyed this absolute random, <sighs> don't even, I don't even need to say it. It was pretty chaotic once again. Why do I say that as if I'm shocked? Cause I'm not, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did make sure to give it a thumbs up. I feel like these kind of vlogs at the moment, probably gonna be more of the content. You guys um, keep spamming my DMs about more drive with me. So I might do a couple more of them. Actually, I say a couple more. I'm just gonna, whatever's easiest to film, I think I'm gonna film in terms of just making sure I am still filming and staying motivated and just doing what feels natural. What did I even just say then? Like, what did I just say? What I'm trying to say is I wanna do vlogs that I find fun that you also find fun. That is literally what I meant. I don't know what that spiel was before. But anyway, so if you like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. I will do more in the future if so, because who doesn't love making lychee martinis and fake tanning, but badly. But yes, I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.